Good morning. You guys are doing well. For those of you guys that joined me yesterday uh, for All About Acrylic, really appreciate it. Uh, for those of you guys interested in future classes, make sure to get a hold of Ray Bracamontes here at Home Office. Uh, he'll be able to get you guys dialed in uh, for upcoming classes. Get right into a little bit of a review of uh, kind of a refresher of what we did yesterday. Um, one of the things I covered was just, you know, some, you know, fundamental application when it comes to acrylic. So one of the things we have to do when we're working is, right, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and clip off a majority of this free edge. I'm just going to kind of round off the end and then what we're going to end up doing is just kind of prepping it. So you wanna go through the whole process of pushing cuticles back and then you wanna be able to use your arbor band to gently remove shine from the surface of the nail. So what I wanna be able to do is lightly come around the cuticle area in one direction. And then what we're gonna end up doing is feathering away the shine from corner to corner. All right. As you can see how fast and effective that is. The, the, the pressure that I'm using is the same type of pressure that I would use on the underside of my wrist, right? So this is the most tender area. That's what you wanna be able to do. I'm gonna use swipe, and what we're going to do is cleanse the surface of the nail. This is gonna get all the oils and contaminants off of the surface. And this is going to set me up for protein bond application, okay? so. When we're doing protein bond, what we want to be able to do is apply a nice even coat from cuticle to free edge, right? So you're going to do that on all 10 fingers, and then what you're going to end up doing is coming back and applying a second coat. Okay, so when you're building, right, one of the things we want to be able to focus on is how to create a nice even tip. Now, what I'm going to do so I'm going to take the form, I'm going to place this underneath. We're going to pre-pinch our tip. So for those of you guys that struggle, if you pre-pinch it, then it'll leave it bent. It'll create a natural C-curve, right? So you're going to notice even at this angle right here, if I was to put this on, right, if I came in at this angle, you can see how the form is tilted, okay? Right? This is not attached yet, I'm just holding on to this. I'm gonna use this hand you can see even with one hand, I could just use this hand and tilt it back until it becomes nice and straight. So if we're using my end, my middle finger on my right hand to like lift it up and get it straight, then you could secure it to the side and that's how you're going to get your forms nice and straight, okay? So once we get the form on straight, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to build a free edge that's, again, easy to work with. Now the consistency that you need to work with, it has to basically sit in place. You don't want something that's running all over the place. So for building a tip, what I'd like for you to do is submerse your brush and then what you can do is as you bounce into the powder, you, you notice that you're gonna get it on one side of the brush. What we're going to do is we're going to take off excess liquid, right? That way, when you set it to the form, it doesn't run. Now, in order for me to get this nice and even to the sides, watch what I do. I walk it from the top. This is my growth channel right here. I bring it up and then again, I keep bringing it even with the growth channel so that I could get it even. The side that has slid, what I'm gonna do, I'll bring it even with the growth channel. Right, you see that little space? I'm going to use the body of my brush and walk it from the top. And literally all I'm doing is walking it from the top so that I could get it nice and even from that extension all the way to here. The product is quite moldable. So what you would be able to do is use the side of your brush really to get this into a perfect position. So if I'm going to be building, say, an active length, like tapered square or coffin-shaped nail, you can see how I'm using 
again, the side of the brush, the construction of the brush, as you can see, I'm using that side or this side to be able to move it up. I'm using that side to square it off. But what I'm trying to do is keep the free edge as tight to the surface of the nail as I possibly can. So once that is built out, we have the platform to structure the rest of the body. All right, so the consistency you need, right? This is a reminder for everybody that was in class yesterday. For those of you guys who have been tuning in, you need a consistency that is going to self-level. So what we need to do is we need to submerse our brush. We need to get a lot of liquid. I'm going to tap that off lightly, right? Again, don't sit here. You can see on the back right here with the dishes. I'm not gonna sit here and, and press the brush out. And you can see I'm not pressing it out. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna submerse my brush all the way in and I'm just going to lightly touch. That way when I bounce into the surface a few times, I'm gonna get this nice bead. Two, three, four, around the five count, I'm going to release and then use the tip of the brush to walk around the perimeter while the bead starts moving down the nail. Once it gets past center, I'm literally going to use the tip and start pulling the corners in and then start feathering from the front of the nail, right? If I have to get a wedge on my brush, right? I could get it underneath to kind of slide it down, right? And you're going to notice as I continue moving the acrylic down, right? Some of the weight distribution, if it moves down towards the front, you could use the body of the brush to kind of reposition it back so that the upper arch ends up becoming really, really nice. But you'll notice, right? From the sides, look at this. I want to show you something. One of the things that you're going to be able to achieve when you're following this technique is you're going to get absolutely tight perimeter, tight cuticle from this point all the way to this point, again, without having to use nothing more than the self-leveling nature of the acrylic as it's running down towards the tip of the nail. Okay. So we still have to fill that space. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna submerse my brush. I'm going to tap. I'm going to bounce, bounce, bounce. I'm going to get a nice even pearl. I'm going to release a little bit of monomer, right? And then I'm gonna, in between, right? You see that little bit of a line right there? I'm gonna set that bead in between the line and I'm just going to lightly brush back. I'm gonna clean my brush. You're going to see a lot of that excess sitting there. I could use the body of the brush walk it from side to side to create a nice even structure, right? This is going to fill the space in. And as I'm working up, if I decide I wanna move some of the product, I'm gonna use the body of the brush and kind of move it up into place, right? Getting it nice and tight. And this is going to ensure that we have great structure. Now, for all of you guys that are learning out there, if you're not able to achieve it in perfection, and three, that's not a problem. As long as, like you can see from the side, I mean, all I have to do is wait for this to dry, but you can see I have great shape, right? Everything is dead straight, right? Tapered in, this gives me enough room to really file my edges in, right? I have great thickness through the free edge. I have even thickness from side to side over the C curve. Nothing has run into the skin, everything is tight. For all of you guys that are learning, the most important thing is making sure that the acrylic, again, is going to be tight here, 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 right? Here, all the way around, right? So that you don't have lifting. The key, and this is a fact, the key to success when it comes to doing acrylic, all right, is making sure that you have, again, the consistency that is going to level. And so that's the surface of the natural nail here. When you set that bead down, it has to level like this level, not just towards this back end. Most students, they're not going to get lifting here in the very back end because that's the initial point of placement, right? They get lifting here on the sides. Why? Because they're working with too dry of a bead. A lot of people who can't control the acrylic, what they tend to do is pick it up and they drain the liquid, 
by thinking, oh, I like that clay-like movement. I could set it down and I can kind of push it into place. If you have to physically push it, right, hard into a position, and you're thinking, wow, that was easy to move because it didn't get away from me, right? It might not be the right consistency. You guys have to get used to the point of the acrylic kind of leveling down and using the body to brush, kind of juggling it in a place and allowing it to self-level into perfection around the cubicle area. That's what's going to make all the difference in the world. All right, I hope that helped. For any of you guys that have questions, hit me up. Always here to help. We as a team want to be able to support your journey. For all your professionals out there, again, who have mad skills, send me pics of the work. Love to see what you guys are doing. Appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Love you much. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.